Well, Sam, difficult to know where to start, but I suppose from your perspective, a very big win. Well, from our point of view, I think we, I think we really, before the game panned out any way that it did, which was obviously unusual, I think. Um, but we should have, well, could have been three goals up in the first ten minutes, and uh, we scored one. Uh, John O missed a sitter, and Patrick threw, and only has to slide it to Fabio's in the middle of the box on his own, and it's the it's the defender. So, and then they get the the penalty, which which looks like a, you know, he's, he's gone down having been shot when he's kicked the floor, and, and the referee's obviously given the penalty, and that lifted the crowd, it lifted them, and made life extremely difficult for us. So, we to weather the storm, and then there was a sending off, and then. Immediately after the sending off, they scored on a breakaway from a kick from the goalkeeper, which put us under enormous pressure at half time. So, half time for me was about the lads doing the job properly and about pressing and doing a high press, which is not what we normally do away from home. But we're playing against 10 men, and, and I said, You've got to do a high press, you've got to shut them down in their half every time they try and play, because obviously Swansea actually still try and play even with 10 men. So, that's what worked for us in the end, and clinical Mr Defoe has won us another game. So we're putting that myth to bed about Jermaine Defoe can't play up front on his own because he's won us two games now. The penalty you'd be disappointed with, but there were big calls probably, I think, that may have gone in your way yeah, either no, side, weren't they? I'm not disputing that both ways today. So, you know, at the end of the day, we've manipulated or played with the situation as it panned out to come back and win the game and that's all we can do. Uh, we had our destiny in our own hands um, today and we've taken the opportunity, uh, rightly or wrongly, however it panned out, to win the game and uh, and for us it's uh, it's an unbelievable win because, you know, today if you don't, as I said before the game, if you don't, if you don't win, make sure you don't lose and uh, and today it's an enormous, enormous, enormous three points that gives us a lot of a lot of encouragement and hope now going forward. And the gap's closed, hasn't it, again? Massively, yeah, which is what what we needed. But, I mean, we're still 21 games with only 18 points. Um, so we've made big strides in, in the terms of closing that gap. But we've got to continue to chip away to get to the first and foremost the same amount of points as games. That would be our first aim. A very difficult game at Tottenham on Saturday. And... Um, we move on from there and hopefully we can make this horrendous week that we've had a pretty good one if we can get a result at Tottenham now.